Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel Aglesham School. So today in this video we are going to cover NCIT solution for the subject English from class 10th and the name of the book which we are covering is Footprints Without Feet. So let's start chapter number 6. The name of the chapter is The Making of a Scientist from the book Footprints Without Feet. So guys, let's turn your book to page number 32. And here on page number 32, the first topic is read and find out. So here question number 1 is how did a book become a turning point in Richard's Ebright lives? So the answer is, by the time Richard was in the second grade, he had collected all 25 pieces of butterflies found around his hometown. According to him, him this would probably have been the end to his butterfly collection. However, a book made him think otherwise the book titled The Travel of Monarch X became the turning point in the life. The book was about how Monarch Butterfly migrated to Central America. This opened up the world of science to the eager young butterfly character. At the end of the book, readers were invited to help study butterfly migrations. He actively participated in the tagging butterflies to help in the research being conducted by Dr. Frederick Urquart. He went on to raise an entire flock of butterflies in the basement of his home. Thus, it can be said that the book had managed to keep his enthusiasm alive by making him aware of never-ending possibilities in the world of science. So guys, this is all for question number one. Let's come to question number two. Question number two says, how did his mother help him? So the answer is, Richard's mother helped him by encouraging his interest in learning, she took him on trips, bought him telescope, microscope, camera, mounting material and other equipments and helped him in many other ways. If he did not have anything to do, she found things for him to learn. Even the book that became a turning point in his life was given to him by his mother. Hence, it can be said his mother played a crucial role in the making of the scientist. So this is all for question number two. Let's come to the next from page number 34. Here question number one says, what lesson does a bride learn when he does not win anything at a science fair? So the answer is, when Richard did not win anything at the science fair, he realized that the winner had tried to conduct real experiments. He on the other hand, had simply made a neat display. He had shown slides of frog tissues under microscope. It was the first time that he got a hint of what real science was. This event served to develop the competitive spirit in him. Ultimately, it was the spirit of enthusiasm and competitiveness that drove him to achieve new height in science. So this is all for question number one. Let's come to the next question. That is question number two. The question number two says, what experiment and project does he then undertake? So the answer is, after losing out the science fair, Richard undertook various experiment and project. For his 8th grade project, he tried finding the cause of viral disease that kill nearly all monarch caterpillars every few years. He tried raising caterpillars in the presence of beetles as he thought the disease might have been carried by a beetle. He did not get any results, however, he went ahead and showed that he had tried the experiment and this time he won. The next year his science fair project was to test the theory that viceroy butterflies copied monarch in order to prevent eaten by birds. His project was to see whether birds would eat monarchs. He found that starling would be eat ordinary bird food but ate all the monarchs it could get. This project was placed first in zoology division and third overall in the country science fair. In his second year at the high school, he began the research that led to the discovery of an unknown insect, Harman. Indirectly, it also led to his new theory on his life of cell. He tried to find the purpose of a 12 tiny gold spots on a monarch pupa. Along with another excellent science student, he built a device which showed that the spot were producing a harmon necessary for the butterfly full development. This project won the first place in a country fair and also an entry into international science and engineering fair, where it was adjusted the third best in zoology. So guys, there is a continued answer for this. 
so we are continuing question answer number 2 as a high school junior he continues his advanced experiment in a monarch poopa his project won first place at an international science fair in his second year he grew cells from a monarch wing in a culture and showed that the cell would divide and develop into normal butterfly wing scale only if they were fed the hormone from a gold spot that project won first place in zoology at the international fair the summer after his freshman year at harvard richard worked on the hormone secreted secreted from a gold spot and was able to identify the chemical structure of the hormone during this junior year he got a idea of his new theory on the life of cells along with his roommate james r wong he worked on his theory and wrote a paper explaining the same so this is all for question number 2 Now moving to question number three from the same page, page thirty-four. Question number three is what was the qualities that go into making a scientist? So the answer is the author mentioned three qualities that go into making of a scientist: a first-rate mind, curiosity, and will to win for the right reason. Richard was a very intelligent student. He was also a champion debater, a public speaker, a good connoisseur, and an expert photographer. He always gave that extra effort. He was competitive. but for the right reason from the first he had a driving curiosity along with a bright mind and it was this curiosity that ultimately led him to his theory about cell life so this is all for question number 3 let's come to page number 38 so guys let's turn the page to page number 38 so here question number 1 is how can one become a scientist and economics a historian does it simply simply involve reading many books on the subject does it involve observing thinking and doing experiment so guys i think this answer require your own perspective as well as your own analytical skills so you have to answer this question according to your observation and skills so guys let's move on to next question that is question number 2 question number 2 says you must have read about the cells and dna in your science book discuss richard work on the light of what you have studied If you get an opportunity to work with Richard on project and experiment which field would you like to work on and why In this answer also you need your analytical skills and perspective because all the people have their own choice so this answer may be vary from people to people so guys let's do the these two answer by yourself so this is done for the video hope you like this video if you did then don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with your friends to get updated for more ncert solutions and the most important thing for the video is don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel that is aglesm school guys we'll see you in the next video till then take care bye bye